Good afternoon from the News Center. There was more excitement than usual at Gillies Club in Pasadena this morning. If you take from him, he's going to take from you three times. Sherwood said, nobody can get my money unless they kill me. That was the end of this incredible relationship that, that they had together. Mickey Gilly and Sherwood Carb were bigger than life characters. They were right out of a book. It's just an amazing story. If you wrote it as fiction, nobody would believe it. The minute I met Sherwood Cryer, I knew he was running the show. I could tell by the way he talked to Mickey Gilly. Sherwood shoved the 38 up my ribs. He's not but 10 years older than I am. He's like a father to me. They wrote the contract that Gilly's name would be in lights, and Sherwood would promote him. And they wrote the wrote it on the matchbox. And when we made the deal, Sherwood said, uh, what would you like to call it? And he said, I want to call it Gilly's. And I said, I like it. Gilly's Honk Dome was the biggest at that time in the world. Gilly's was like a whole culture of people with all the regulars that were there. Yeah, I was a Gilly rat. I was in there pretty much every night. It was like family. We had each other's backs. There's not a day that goes by that I do not think of Gilly's and how it changed my life. The urban cowboy. Urban cowboy. Urban cowboy. cowboy. I meant do it Gilly's. It was like a second home. They based this movie off of me. Taking the urban cowboy concept to the masses was going to produce an explosion. I didn't like the article. I never read the article all the way. I started reading it, and I said, no, it's not for me. This incredible a club of yours. They're fixing to do a movie, I think, out of the club. The word around town got very hot. John was, I think, next to Muhammad Ali, the most recognized person on the planet. John! They're trying to uh, persuade John Travolta to play the lead part. Fabulous. <laughs> you can't play country. Can this city guy do this or not? Probably my favorite film experience to, to do as an actor. It became something entirely different when that movie came out. Gilly smiles about the financial success of the club. He and his partner, Cryer, are sitting on a multi-million dollar gold mine. Hollywood coming into that club in 1979. It was beginning the end. It was like a nosedive in an airplane. I think when the place burnt down, a part of history burnt down. I, I made him a lot of money, and he made me a lot of money. But the bottom line was, he wanted it all. And that's the only time I ever wanted to kill somebody. It was right out of a classic novel. The fire chief from Pasadena came to me. He said, you know who burned it? I said, if you don't know, I don't need to tell you. Urban Cowboy, The Rise and Fall of Gillies, a CMT documentary, premieres Saturday, June 13th at 9, 8 central on CMT.